Hey YouTube, Zath again, and um, this replay might look familiar just because I just recorded this um, for 212th Attack Battalion. And the reason why I'm doing this is because some people have asked about how to do replays and um, you know what what I what I do for tips and tricks. So I'll walk you through it. Uh, first tip and trick: Do not click the start battle. You have to sit and wait a little bit here, and. Um, the important, the reason why is because if you, for whatever reason, if you click start battle before the battle actually begins, you're not able to take away and bring back the UI, okay? Um, for me, I'm looking for screenshots, so um, I want to be able to drop the UI, take my pretty screenshot, and bring it back up to see what's going on again, okay? Now, the way that you do that is control G, control G, okay? See that? Control G. Now, right now we are in the player view. In other words, we're looking at what the player is looking at. If you want to switch that at all and control the view yourself, you can left mouse click. And when you left mouse click, then you can pan around. You can use the mouse wheel to zoom in and zoom out. Um, you can look at the ship from all kinds of different angles. So I can take this screenshot like right here. That's kind of neat. Um, and I can do that if I want to. Now, if you want to go to free cam, you hit control shift backspace on the right side, control shift backspace. Suddenly you're left behind. Um, you can use the arrow keys to move around. Okay, uh, the nine key brings you down. The seven key brings you up on the number pad. This is number pad, okay? So you can, you can do kind of crazy things where you go from farther away and then you can use the mouse wheel to zoom in and you can get a really tight shot um, like that, and you can get lower to the to the sea almost, and kind of look at things from there. That's kind of neat, huh? Um, now you have to be careful because with everything going on so quickly, it's it's kind of challenging. So one thing you can do is completely stop the battle, or at least closely stop it. And to do that, you hit the end key on the keyboard. Insert speeds it up, so you have to hit end and then insert once um, because then you can move around. Oh, look at that plane up there. I've never seen that before. That's kind of cool. Um, so what you can do too, where did it go? There it is. And this is kind of fun. So now we are flying to this plane. Cool, huh? Yeah. There are things I'm still noticing. Oh, that's cool. Um, in this game. Now let's hit Control G. You, uh, the, the player that, that we're looking for does not show up. You notice that the player right there is um, our Fiji Captain 212th Attack Battalion. So I can do something like this, or let's go back to Insert again. I can zoom in. And now... I can get the plane really kind of close and tight, but I can also get the Fiji back there in the background. And this is something that I, I like to do, a fun little trick for, for wiki screenshots, because um, it's kind of fun. But you have to be kind of quick about it. You have to kind of know what you're looking to get out of this, um, because if, you, if you're too slow on the draw there, you'll miss it. So what I'm hoping for is that the Fiji is going to open up, the 212 is going to open up with his, with his battery. He's not going to because there's nothing detected yet. So again, if we, if we hit regular speed and we can follow this plane, uh, the plane's going to go farther away and it's going to probably get out of the battle because this is not a player control plane, it's just something that gets added in. So unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be able to use this asset like we want to. Okay. I like to play with war drums. Um, I just paused it. The audio immediately kicked on because something got noticed. And so that enables me to kind of say, all right, now I need to, to be ready. That looks kind of cool, huh? So I took a screenshot. Yeah, uh, screenshot, of course, print screen. And we're waiting for, for 212th to open up. So I'm going to hit the insert key to speed up a little bit more. Come on. You can do it. There it is. Now I immediately hit the end key to pause the action. 
hit insert once, and now I'm taking that shot as this scout plane banks. That's kind of cool, huh? See? And that's what I love about this game. There's always something new to see. And it's so doggone gorgeous. I mean, look at the quality of this model, right? It doesn't have to be this quality, but it is. That's cool. Now, we're gonna, oops. We're still following him. Um, unfortunately, he's going behind the, uh, the, the, the island there. We lost the, the plane, so we're going to zoom out a bit here. No, is this a scout plane? Oh, this is a scout plane. This is the Queen of... Why is the Queen Elizabeth popping a scout fighter? Or a scout... Catapult scout. What the heck? Oh, well. That just means that we know he's going to be in the area for longer. That's fine. All right. So, where is our hero? Our hero is behind the island still. And this scout plane is coming back down, so whatever. Now, let's say we want to get back to our, our guy quickly. Hit the left mouse button, and boom, we immediately go back to him. And we can see now the action. All right, I'm going to, um, once again, control shift backspace. And now what I want to do is I want to get a shot of him engaging this destroyer. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit here and... His guns are just about ready. See, 0.2 seconds, 0.1 second. I know he's probably going to shoot. There they go. And sometimes when you do this, the uh, the turrets are kind of at a weird angle, but you get the idea, right? Now, this might this isn't going to kill him. This is he's going to die later. It helps if you kind of know what to expect in the replay itself. Um, but that's all right. Now, once again, we're gonna we're gonna go to the player, and I like to go to the player just because it, it turns the turrets and stuff like that, so I can kind of see it. Now, while we're waiting, um, you can also you can hit the delete key to slow things down on your own. In key immediately gets to, to slowest. Home key brings everything back to standard speed. And then insert speeds things up. So like I can I can um, try now to get this shot of the shores coming around and getting punished. Let's see, so I can do something like this. Um, and boink! Problem is, we know he got citadeled because we saw the video, but we we don't see anything from that. Um, we could have gotten a good a good uh, shot of that uh, torpedo hitting, but we didn't. That's okay. Um, coming back down here, going for a shot, and sometimes you can go real you know, real stylized, right? You can be like, I want to get it from from this angle, like this. See, so. You can you can be really artistic with it if you want to. Um, you can of course zoom out and come around and, and get shots like this. You can go to the target, right? There it is. And at some point we're gonna see there it is. And then you can zoom in, and you can see this. Poor Kamikaze is going to get shattered a little bit here. He's not about. He's not going to die. I don't think. Comes later. See the health up top there. See, so this is kind of a fun action shot. You get the splashy splash in the background. You get the big hits, and I'm hitting print screen as those shells come in and hit. Should be hearing enemies severely damaged soon. Everything's a little bit slow down. We're gonna hit the home button to go back to standard speed. And we're coming up on the part that I want. And this is what I'm using for my 
uh, replay theater main screen. All right, here we go. And again, because of war drums, I love war drums. I, I could hear that it was about to start. So there it is. And what I want is I want a shot of this guy right here. Through the smoke. There it is. And I want something kind of like this, maybe a little bit higher up. There we go. Get the whole ship in. Uh, there it is. And what I'm doing is I'm just waiting for these shells to hit. Now, see the turrets, how, how they're aimed somewhat slightly off? That's, that's because uh, this is a replay bug when you're in free camp. Sometimes it does that. So that's why it, it helps to go back. And look at the tight spread there. Beautiful shot. That's not going to take him down if I recall correctly. We're going to go back to this for a second. Um, why? Because even you, you can free cam around and watch the turrets. You see how the turrets immediately go back? Now that one's going to miss. There it is. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna go out of here, kind of set up. Here's what I'm looking for. We can get the, the town here. Now you play around a little bit with the. Um, so you gotta you gotta figure out which zoom level you want. I think this is probably good right about here. And now we wait for for him to shoot. Shouldn't take much longer. There it is. And we can, while we wait for the, the, the rounds to hit, we can look for another vantage point. Maybe up here would be good. What we're trying to do... Trying to... Oops, in the island. Huh? Trying to see what we can do to kind of... Showcase the explosion, because we know we're going to kill him here. And unfortunately, the trees are kind of in the way here. And the ship is on fire, too, so that doesn't help. Um, now, you can also... We're, we're going back to that wreck. Which over here. One of the things that I enjoy doing too is going to the wreck. Look at that fireball, huh? And then we can zoom in on our guy. There it is. And then hit play here a little bit. And this is kind of a fun fun shot too because now you know we essentially we've got the um the death animation here of the kamikaze and i wish the buoys weren't in it but that's all right and we can go around from different angles we can get it from different ships now that he's opening fire i can be prepared for that and there's a propeller sticking up a little bit it's kind of fun and you see how that works, um, and that's that's kind of that's kind of it. Um, Enemy cruiser foundered. I missed that cruiser kill. That's all right. See what I mean? Like that's kind of fun, isn't it? Right there, in between the masts, as the ship sinks, I think we found my my shot. So with that. Um, I hope this uh, this kind of helped you learn a little bit about how to use the replay system. Um, in order to to um, activate replays, you just you just do a Google search "World of Warships" enable replays. It's very easy to, to do. 
Um, and then once you've got replays enabled, all you have to do is double click on the file itself once you've told it to load uh, World of Warships.exe with it. Not the launcher, but the actual World of Warships.exe. Or you can click and drag the file directly onto the World of Warships.exe um, command, executable, whatever. And um, then it'll load up just fine for you. Okay? Um, while, while we're at it, T12th, I had said something to you about, about a ricochet. Let's see if we can get to that. Um, it helps if you have seen the battle already, you know what you're looking for. Um, because then you can just kind of get through here and look how crazy and silly it, it gets and stuff. Um, sometimes it's helpful, by the way, if you if you want to focus on positioning, is make the mini map large like this, and then just kind of watch what's going on in the mini map. It kind of teaches you a lot about about the um, positioning and stuff of your of your team. Now we're getting kind of close, so I'm I'm kind of. Here we go. And that's the big pen that you take at the beginning. Um, and it's the second or third salvo. Not that salvo. This is really hard to do, by the way. Okay, shells are coming in. Let's see if I've got enough showcase it so we're gonna we're gonna zoom out here go over the ship sometimes it's fun to do this because you can get an idea of of uh, shell angles and stuff like that and where they're hitting you and you see that one bounced did you see the little you see the twang there so that was because of the angle that the shell came in and, and hit your armor so I mentioned that in the replay um, about looking for that bounce, we managed to catch it, so that was good. All right, well, if you guys enjoyed this, if, if you want, I can definitely do some other kind of tutorial videos to kind of showcase what you can do um, with it. Uh, any aspect of the game, that's fine. Just let me know in the comments, and, and I'll see what I can do for you. All right, uh, have a great day, everybody. Thank you, and uh, take care.